hey guys welcome back to cc's texas garden so today guys we are making corn silk tea so there's different ways to do it um the way i did it was i took a few days after i took the corn silk off and let it dry completely and this is what it looked like it does have this lime green color to it but that is how the corn silks dried up and i just put it in a baggie so all you have to do is take a little bit of the corn silk you're going to take this you're going to put it into your cup and then i'm going to just use my tea kettle it's already ready with boiling water and we're going to pour it over that and now you're just gonna let it steep or let it sit for like 15 to 20 minutes until it gets all the nutrients out of the corn silk. This is good for uh, weight loss. It is good for your digestive system. It's good as a diuretic. Um, <laughs> so if you plan on going somewhere, I wouldn't drink the tea uh, before. But anyway, we're going to let it set for 15, 20 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, guys, so I let it steep for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I went and worked out in the garden. So I went on and took this out. I strained it. And I mean, it looks pretty clear. Maybe have a, like a little bit of a yellow tint. Um, I don't have any honey. Um, so I'm going to just use some regular sugar to kind of sweeten it up. I don't know if I even need that much sugar. It's so clear looking. Let me get my spoon. All right. Let me take a drink of this. Let me see. Hmm. It does need some little honey because the sugar is just making it like sugar water I can taste the corn uh, flavor in it but it does need that hint of honey probably a little bit of lemon but it's very smooth and uh, hey if it helps digestion and and all the other different things that it does then this is pretty good so let me know if you try this or you have tried corn silk tea i know many of y'all are going to be planting corn so when um when it's time to harvest your corn think about making some corn silk tea 